Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. And uh, we are once again joined by Matt Zion from Retro Seating. Um, we are doing something, um, I guess we can call it meme foods. Yeah. Meme so uh, Matt recently contacted me and he gave, sent me a bunch of memes uh, with different food concoctions yeah. and said, hey, we got to do these. So uh, we're spending the better part of the day making a lot of these. Um, today we are going to do, it is a, um, it's a hot dog with peanut butter and jelly, but essentially instead of a hot dog, it's a banana in a yeah. hot dog roll. I think it's going to be delicious. I don't, yeah, I, I don't see anything bad about no. this at all. I think it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, so we're also going to do another hot dog one, which is on my uh, channel. Yeah, it's up right now. It's not, it's uh, it's a uh, it's actually sold at a specific stadium, which we'll cover that in our video. Uh, but it is uh, macaroni and cheese, bacon bits, um, Fruit, Loops. Fruit Loops on, yeah, a, hot on a hot dog. Yeah. So uh, we'll have a link for that down below. Make sure you check that out. Um, so we're just gonna. This this seems plain and simple. Yeah. Um, Matt, I have a I have a confession to make. Yeah. Um, just because this seemed plain and simple, I wanted to change it up a little bit. So it's peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, you got pepper jelly. I did get pepper Yeah, jelly. that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. okay, just wanted to check, because I know how you love and hate no, surprises. No, I'm out of here. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the surprise I gave you this morning. It's not that I hated it. I think uh, I think if I hadn't been a surprise that I could have been prepared for it, then I would have been, then I would have been great. All right, here we go. This is pretty straightforward. Interesting bread. You gotta explain this. This okay. is not a traditional bun. Well, actually, it is a traditional bun, but it's not traditional here, like on the West Coast. It is traditional in New England. So th these are the kind of hot dog buns you find in New England. I live, I live in America, not New England. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, crazy. it's not old England either. So um, these uh, these buns are um, they're. You'll find these more than you'll find the other type of hot dog buns sure. in New England. But the beauty of these are you can you can put these on the grill to toast them because there's more, there's more bread side. But this is typically what you would use to make like a lot of, what happened? No, it's not going well, well, you know what? You're only gonna be able to fit that big part in there anyways. So oh, sure. just, I would do that. Um, but this is the this is the kind of a um, hot dog bun that you would use to make a lobster roll. Also these little like stringy parts, am I the only one that always takes these off? Cause they- I'm they sure you're not the nice. only one. Uh, I, I just don't like, to me, like I don't have, like to have to work when I'm eating a banana. So. And I also take off the end if it's like a little bit like brown, cause that's gross. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna show you that, th that somebody demonstrated that it's easier to open the banana from the bottom. Yeah, that's how I did it, I opened it from the bottom. Oh, okay. It still, it didn't, it didn't work out exactly as planned, but. Yeah. I think it's gonna be. That's like way too, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just break a piece of that off. This is gonna be good. I think so. I mean, peanut butter and banana sandwiches are what killed Elvis. If it was good enough to kill the king, it's good enough to kill everybody. They, well, to be fair, they were fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Still though. You might have to stir that up a little bit. Oh. I don't know if the oil separated. Oh, you got that like, that like almond butter style. No, it's just na natural peanut mm. butter and the oil. Natural separates. peanut butter. Give me Skippy, baby. Get that knife down in there. Get it's that, in like, there. It's sturdy stir. It's, oh God, a oh, manual labor. Yeah. <laughs> I just for me, it's a better tasting peanut butter. Like uh, something about the the Skippy or Jif, they're just so kind of like uh, it's like creamy, but it's like consistently creamy. It's like a chemical creamy, just not really like yeah. It. Don't it. it's called <laughs> peanut butter. Wow. Well, you're, what you're really saying is you don't like peanut butter. Okay, got it. No, that's why I always get the Laura scumbag. You know what though? All I do is open my peanut butter and I eat it. You have to like a sucker churn it, right? <laughs> the only thing, the only time I ever want to churn something is if I was living back in the old pagan days making my own butter. But this one tastes like ground up peanuts here. Go ahead. That doesn't mean it's gonna be the best. Yeah, maybe. Skippy is the best. Okay, here we go. Speaking also, of, speaking of Skippy, you, I know you're not gonna remember like from watching when the show was on TV, but I don't know if they show it in, on like on on a TV, like a uh, Cartoon Network or anything, but okay. in the, I wanna say in the 70s, the 60s or the 70s, they had a show called Skippy, and it was about a kangaroo. Nope, <laughs> it's not ringing a bell. I was born in 84, so. Oh, it was, it was off a little, the air little, way. A little before my time. It was off the air way before then. Oh yeah, I do remember uh, Jerry O'Connell from Sliders had a uh, movie with a kangaroo. Really? I don't know what it was called though. Oh, I know, it's something Jack. Kangaroo Jack or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of remember that. It was like an animated one. It was really strange. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I think <laughs> this is gonna be delicious. I love bananas though. I'm a big banana fan. 
I would, I would have a banana for breakfast every day, and for a long time I was, when I was going really healthy. But they go bad so quickly that oh, I yeah. always lose the, them. The thing that drives me nuts is when they sell them, they're, they're green. Yeah. And so you bring them home and go like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to let them ripen. Yeah, and like then they're, they go bad yeah, and they're, they're, still, they're still totally. green and going bad. Yeah, you have to constantly buy like three at a time. Otherwise they go bad. Just, I hate that. See, it always feels like a waste of time. All right, we have to sing the appropriate song while we're eating this. There's a, a tribute. Banana, there's a banana hot dog song? No. Well, uh, can't oh. help dying <laughs> wait, on wait. the toilet <laughs> with you. I have a disgusting story about that afterwards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was good. Mm. That was good. <laughs> really good. That is good. Mm. I like oh, the spiciness of that pepper jelly, too. Mm -hmm. That oh, is really you good. You could sell that at like a restaurant. Like oh, a fast food thing. Oh man, that's good. Mmm. Oh, wow. Wow, that's great. I knew it when I saw that picture. I was like, there's no way that's bad. Mm. No, so I'll be fair. A lot of times when we make these things, you know, these kind of things, we might take a spoonful or a biteful or a forkful of it or anything, maybe eat one or two forkfuls or anything on the camera, yeah. and then as soon as the camera goes, the rest well, goes in the trash or something, you know. But this, mm. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Oh, you would die so fast eating this all the time, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The, okay, so you mentioned Elvis, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, can you imagine if we grilled this? But what? That what was, was on? So what good. was on his specifically? Was it just on that peanut butter banana? That particular sandwich was just peanut butter and banana, and some people say he put bacon on it too. So like, um, mm -hmm. we did with uh, with old guy in Colorado. We made the, the, another sandwich, and um, we put bacon on half of it. So that way we were like halfway right. It was pretty good. Oh yeah, it was actually really good. And and it, so you make it like a grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. You put the banana and the peanut butter, and then you make it like a grilled cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. That was really good. So this, because you're using this kind of bun, you could put that on the grill. Just yeah. you know, put that together, put that on the grill. It would probably soften the banana up. It would. Oh, this good. Oh, yeah, that was great. If I had some bacon, I'd sprinkle that on there. Mm -mm. The thing that Elvis ate or liked to eat that was really deadly um, was this thing called Pools Gold Loaf. There's a um, restaurant in. Colorado, I can't remember the name of it, but Elvis would fly out to this restaurant to get this thing called Fool's Gold Loaf. Right. We'd take this loaf of bread, hollow it out, and they put like bacon, peanut butter, all kinds of other stuff inside it, and then just like I, I deep fry the whole thing. He was a junk food fiend, wasn't oh, he? Oh yeah. Wow. Well, he was a good old boy, you know? Also, he's rich as hell. Like, it, what, yeah. the, the thing is like, I respect rich people that stay in good shape the most because they can literally do whatever they want. Like, yeah, you know, that's your choice. On the flip side, though, you can afford to get, you know, a nutritionist that will give you this delicious food that's healthy for you. But, oh, man. Good old Elvis. Mm. Yeah, that was really good. That was, that was, that's like, they should sell that at the, thumbs up, thumbs down. big time thumbs up. They should sell that at the fair. I think they would sell quite a bit of them. So out of curiosity, Matt, on your channel, what would they, what, what, what rating would that get on your channel? Oh, I would have given it a high five out of five. It's not quite a seal of approval. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little much. Like as you're eating it, like I'm, like I'm, I, it was a lot of food. It was just very filling, uh, and like I'd have to be ready to feel like like crap. Mm -hmm. um, but it's great. It's almost a seal of approval. Yes, yeah. that that. Kind I'm gonna of give food. I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up. It was delicious. You Absolutely gotta delicious. love bananas because that is like I know a lot of people don't, which always surprises me. But if you hate bananas, you will not like that. So it, it, it kind of raises the question, who who would have thought, oh, I'm gonna put this picture out there. Oh, it's so scary. No one's gonna wanna try this and everything. And well, who's to say that it's scary? There was a bite out of it. Oh, yeah. In the picture, there's actual bite taken. So they like they ate it. <laughs> they yeah. were like, this is awesome. Yeah. No, this strikes me as somebody legit makes this all the time. I bet it's not even rare. I bet there's a decent amount of people that have done this before. I bet I'll make, I would do this again. Yeah, I would 100%. If I have a, like a, I have the ingredients and I have the individual things, I'm gonna, I'll put it together and make the it. Only thing, the only thing I would do different is like next time I would actually grill it. I right? think, I, well, I'm a little lazy. I'm not a griller. I would just put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds. Just make it a little warmer mm -hmm. and then, oh, it would be perfect. Yeah, be that's the thumbs way up. 
So again, remember that we are also gonna do another hot dog concoction meme food on uh, Reckless Eating, so we'll have a link down yep. below. Be sure to check them out, be sure to uh, subscribe, be sure to like the videos. Uh, check them out on uh, Twitch, Twitter, uh, you know, everything. Also, Tinder, I'm, running, Rider. I'm running for a senator in the great state of Wyoming. I don't live there and I have not actually registered yet, but I plan to win in the next three months. Uh, that's never been a de detriment to anybody else who's done that. Stupid is as stupid does, pal. <laughs> Okay, so um, anyways, um, give this a, I, I highly recommend you give this mm -hmm. a try. It's absolutely delicious. This is great. Definitely I'm going to make this one. But be careful because it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.